So, every cage engineer has to take Mechanics 104. It is pretty darn easy. But as part of the class, there's this project where 20% of your grade, where you're basically assigned a topic, and then you have to design a lesson plan to teach elementary school kids, and then about a month later, you actually teach it to them through Microsoft Teams. My group decided to rip off Bill Nye the science guy for his lesser known counterpart, Jay Nye the physics guy, and we spent about a month making this video. It was a banger. I poured my blood and tears into this video, you should go watch it. We also made a presentation that we spent about 5 minutes on total. It was horrible. On the day of the presentation, we were feeling pretty good, and we thought that there would be no better place to record than the Architectural Engineering Studio here at the University of Waterloo. This program, fuck you bro! But to make matters worse, it turns out our school had pulled out last minute, so we would just be presenting to the TAs and a few of our classmates. But on the day of the presentation, after weeks of hard work, we had amassed one audience member. Oh yeah, just a warning, like I know my camera quality is notoriously bad, but I'm literally using a Microsoft Teams recording for this video. So uh, yeah, we're recording off the Nokia on this one. Anyways, enjoy the circus. Keep in mind this was 20% of our grade. So we were actually pretty excited to share a video, but after 50 minutes of waiting, only one student showed up. So there's like a Chris Zacharias pause. He's like, he sits like over there. My bad, bro. Thought you were the TA. <laughs> Are you the one audience member? Bro, we don't have the TA even here. Yeah, yeah, send a warning to the chat. Be like, everybody better be there at 11 o'clock sharp. Dude, J9 doesn't do his own advertisement. What do you think, Chris? Should we start? Thanks. Yeah, so at this point, we are just killing time, and we had accepted that the TA wasn't going to show up, so we just decided to start. Hello. I'm James. I'm Jay. I'm Spencer. I'm Uriya. Today, we're going to be presenting on Gothic cathedrals, <laughs> so I hope you're all excited. Is the camera still on? Yeah. Oh. The video went pretty well, but the studio was getting kind of loud, so we had the great idea to do our presentation out in the middle of the hallway. So we had to move. Well, I'm sure Chris was so entertained that he didn't even notice. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the presentation part. So as we learned in that video, Gothic cathedrals, you know, they exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. The... <laughs> what is a force? A force is a noun. Um, and it's defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as strength or energy exerted or brought to bear because of motion or change, active power. What is an arch? An arch is a noun. Now we have buttresses, and what are what is a buttress? <laughs> well, defined in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a buttress is supporting or giving stability to a wall or building. That's correct. Nice. As you can see, those things off to the sides, they support the lateral load of the arch, which makes it a lot stronger. <laughs> and they're also called flying buttresses because they look like they're flying. So why is this important? Well, uh, the reason this is important is because buildings... Um... <laughs> According to the law code of Homerumbai in 1700 BCE, if a builder builds a house for a man, and the house which he has built collapses, the builder shall be put to death. So, as you can see, construction is serious, and people can die. Even in ancient years, like 17,000 BC, people still had construction flaws. 1700 BC, my bad. So here's some arches uh, gone wrong. So when stuff goes wrong, it's bad, because as the code suggests, people can die from buildings failing. Nowadays, we have building codes, so, but back in the day, that's how you would hold builders accountable. Nowadays, though... Uh, <laughs> nowadays, like... <laughs> Well, as you've learned today, class, um, <laughs> Gothic arches are important, and there are consequences to messing up in construction and in presentation. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Thank you. Spencer from the future here. I just want to say, like, Chris, you are a real one. Like, genuinely, thank you. Okay, bye. Can you delete that? Okay, so we will have a question period until 10.35, and after that, we'll give you five minutes to head to your next class. Thank you. Yeah, I should have deleted that footage, but... Bro! 
But yeah, believe it or not, we got a 98 on that presentation because it was graded through Critic, which is basically a platform that students have to pay for to grade other students' assignments. So thankfully, our classmates graded our presentation, which they thought was amazing, obviously. But yeah, thank God for Critic. Even if it does kind of remind me of those people who'd like spend 50 bucks on a single bottle of Prime. Like, I don't think I'd ever get those people, man. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the train wreck. But uh, yeah, Arc is pretty fun. You should join. Uh, more content coming soon. Sometimes you lose yourself in the music, the moments. You want it. And you never let it, better let it, never let it go. <laughs>